How's it going everyone? And in this video, I'm gonna be walking through how you can establish a connection to a remote domain or cluster of AWS's OpenSearch or Elasticsearch services. And this is something that has taken me a very long time to figure out, which is why I'm making this video so that hopefully if you run into the same problem, it won't take you as long as it took me. So basically I've been following these OpenSearch getting started guides and I've got my little test domain or cluster created uh, that gives me a little, you know, an Elasticsearch like index and a Kibana like dashboard um, for my uh, service that I'm, I'm hosting through AWS right now. Um, and the biggest challenge I've had though is that because this thing's hosted in AWS, getting the right uh, credentials and authenticating to it is has been a lot different from how I'm typically used to with uh, Elasticsearch clusters. So. Um, in my case, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, and I'll walk through all these steps. So basically I'm using an IAM user, uh, and the Boto3 client in order to grab the appropriate permissions or, or credentials I need to, uh, do actions on this particular, uh, domain that I've created, uh, for open search. So, um, the very first step, if you've already created the open search domain, um, is I go to security configuration and then under this guy, uh, if you click on edit, uh, they give you a choice to set an IAM user uh, as one who will have permissions on this thing. And so what I did is I went into the AWS Management Console, I went to IAM, and uh, I created a new role here. So I'm gonna give this a second to load. Yeah, so um, in here, if you go to users, uh, I've already created one called Boto3 user, but you know you can we can go through the steps of creating a new user. Um, just give it a username, so you can call this like the uh, Boto3 Open Search. And then um, in terms of the credentials or the access type, you're going to want to go with programmatic access. And in our case, we're going to attach existing policies. And in here, you can search for Open Search and um, I'm gonna give it full access, but if this is a production app, you would wanna follow the principle of least privilege. Uh, I'm going to then go to tags. I'm not gonna add any tags and we're gonna review this. And then we're going to click on the create user. And then once this creates a user, it's going to give us that access key, which you'll copy. And it'll also give you a secret access key, which I'm not gonna show you guys. Um, you'll see it in a second, but you know, here you would just copy it. I'm gonna delete this account anyways. Um, and then with the access key and the secret access key, you're going to work on configuring your Boto3 client locally. So um, I'm running PyCharm right now and I've already gone through the motions of, uh, you know, pip install Boto3. Um, if you haven't, you would do this. And then as you're installing the Boto3 Python client onto your local machine, um, it doesn't really matter if you're running Windows or Mac um, or Linux, but uh, you will have under your user profile a new folder called .aws, and inside of this .aws file is where you'll have uh, a credentials folder, or a little file, and you'll also have a config file. And um, so basically you will modify the values uh, inside of these things to uh, show you, um, or to, to reflect those those uh, access keys that you've just created. So in our case, we've got one for uh, config and the config files just defining the region. And regions are super important with your open search domain because your open search domain lives in a single region. So make sure you get this right. Um, otherwise, you're gonna wonder why you're getting timeouts or it's not working. Um, and then same thing with the credentials. I just copied this into PyCharm so you guys can see what's living on my local machine. Um, and so basically with these credentials and the default region defined, um, the next step here is to, uh, I have a, a little Boto3 test uh, Python script that I can share with you guys. Um, and I'll just put this all on GitHub so you guys can look through it. But basically uh, what we're doing is we are just using the Boto3 uh, package to create a client locally with uh, the open search service. And then um, I'm just running this basic command to see if it's able to return us anything. So if I run this file right now, um, you'll see it come through and, and it should return us uh, some information in terms of the domain and, and in terms of the domain names. Um, so let me, I, just, I have to do this in debug mode so you guys can see the actual response. Um, in terms of the uh, domain names, you have to, uh, as you can see, it's, it's returning information on this stuff like 
uh, the resources associated with it, the particular version of it. Um, but this just confirms that your, your Boto 3 client is able to su successfully connect into uh, uh, your AWS account. Um, and then the other important thing here, though, is uh, then taking it that step further in, in, in app.py is where you will provide your actual host name as well as the region. And then um, you're grabbing a credentials object from the Boto3 uh, class or method. Um, so that's the reason why we needed Boto3. So then once we get that, we're able to generate uh, a little auth object that is able to let us successfully create an open search client locally. So um, this was a pretty convoluted workaround for me, but um, I'm just gonna make like a new index in here to show you guys this working. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to uh, run this app and um, it's giving us a little warning right now, but you should see it come back and acknowledge the fact that it's just created a new index uh, inside of our little uh, open search client. So um, if we wanted to be super thorough here, we can go back to here and look in our uh, uh, domain and we can visit the dashboard for that domain. Give it one second. And uh, this will be the default credentials you've already created. Um, but yeah, so separate video on that. But the whole point here is that you're able to successfully establish a connection and do operations inside of your open search cluster using the local Python client on your machine. So this took a long time for me to figure out. Uh, I'll link the, the citations in the readme and stuff. But um, thank you guys for watching. Hope this is helpful stuff and be well.